Here we have a buffer containing equal concentrations of acetic acid and acetate ion. In the beaker, we have a particulate level representation of eight acetic acid molecules and eight acetate ions. This buffer solution has a pH of 4.75 at 25 degrees Celsius. Now what happens if we add a strong base, which contains hydroxide ions, to this buffer? Well, when the hydroxide ions enter the solution, they encounter and react with acetic acid molecules. The reaction that takes place is the hydroxide ions reacting with the acetic acid molecules to form water and the acetate ion. Each hydroxide ion removes the acidic hydrogen from an acetic acid molecule and essentially converts it into acetate ion, its conjugate base. This ends up decreasing the number of acetic acid molecules, in this case from the initial eight to seven, and it increases the number of acetate ions from the initial eight to nine. We now have a solution that has more acetate ion and less acetic acid than it originally had. In general, we're not showing water molecules. There's so much of that. So we'll let the water formed by the reaction disappear into the background. And you may have noticed that the pH increased slightly from 4.75 to 4.86 and that adding the strong base has slightly increased the solution volume as well. Now we can do this again if we add more of the strong base, more hydroxide ions enter the solution and encounter acetic acid molecules. Hydroxide reacts with acetic acid to make water and the acetate ion and once again, strong base is converting acetic acid into acetate ions. Now in this case, the amount of acetic acid decreases further from seven to six molecules. The amount of acetate ion increases from nine to 10 in this case. And once again, we let the water go into the background, the water formed by this reaction and the pH undergoes another slight increase from 4.86 to 4.97 this time, and the volume increased a little bit as well due to the additional added base. Now note, we still have reasonable amounts of acetic acid and its conjugate base, acetate, so we still have a buffer. And then if we keep adding strong base to this buffer, Acetic acid molecules get converted into acetate ion molecules by the strong reaction with strong base. The pH continues to gradually increase. And this keeps happening until we've added so much base that we end up exceeding the buffer's buffering capacity. And at that point, the pH undergoes a very dramatic increase to a high level and the buffer no longer functions.